Last week, I talked about a brand new feature of Power BI where you can use semantic model version history. This revolutionary new feature will help you to retain version history of your semantic model. I'm sure this would have happened to you as well, where you see so many broken visuals. Now, this can happen because you or maybe your team member changed something in the data model. And now, pain of unnecessary troubleshooting will start. Now, a lot of people have asked me after this that short video, they are not able to see this option. In order to come, in order to successfully test this, you need to consider these points and I hope it will save your time. First of all, you can save up to five versions only with this new feature. Very important. You should be in premium workspace. If you are not there, do not expect this feature. Don't try to test this feature in my workspace. Another important one, semantic model must have large semantic model storage format enabled. You have to do this from admin portal. You can go to the admin portal from settings and admin portal. So if you are not an admin, then you need to ask your admin to enable this feature. So I've covered the points which will enable you to enable this feature. However, there are other points as well, which are useful. So I will paste this link at my description and comment section. So please go through that. Now let's go to the live demo. Now I'm at this page. I'm quite worried that what has happened, probably me or my team member or whoever, or whoever has access to our data model did make some mistakes over there. But do not worry because we are here in Jan 2025 where you have the option to go to edit then open data model. What? You cannot see the open data model option? No worries, I have a solution there as well. Okay, for a while you can come back to home over there. And after that, uh, you go to the workspace. I am there, I'm in workspace. I go to workspace setting. And after that, you go to Power BI, go to general. And here you can see data model setting. And show that this is checked. Use users can edit data models in Power BI. So we are back to the visual now. Edit. Now you can open data model. Pick the relevant account. Initially, it will be in the view mode. So I will uh, switch this over to editing. And after that, we are in a better space. For the first time now, you see there is something called as file over there. Right? So now, I have already saved my previous version. So I will just go and check my version history. And now I can see that version one is there. After that, there are four other versions as well. But I want to go back to version one, which I already saved earlier. So now the other thing that you notice, which we have already read, one, two, three, four, five, up to max five versions you can save. So once I will save a new version, this will go out. So keep this thing in your mind as well. I'll go to these three dots and I will restore. Yes, it may take some time, but that's fine. So version successfully restored. Now I'm quite excited to see if my visuals are back or not. I go back to my workspace, my premium account, premium workspace, Superstore Amazing Report. And in fact, my report has become amazing again because I get my visuals again. It fixed whatever it was, right? whether it, even if you deleted your category, I think there was a problem with category. So even if you deleted something from the data model, it will restore that to the previous working data model. Version. So I hope this was useful and let me know if you are able to use this very particular feature after this video or not and let me know and I will see you again till then keep on dancing with data.